I'm here to share today our huge stack of titles that we have been reading and perusing on the subject of air flight. We originally dove into this study because it was recommended by God's Big World, the Parent Teacher Guide. God's Big World is a current events newsletter that comes out um, every two months and is designed for children with the ages between three and six. It comes with a pamphlet like this and it's three stories and an activity on the back. And the story for this week that correlated with flight was actually about a license plate in Ohio that had um, gotten the airplane facing the wrong way, backwards. It was attached to the banner um, in the front rather than in the back. So Ohio had to redo their license plates. So that was the fun little current events tidbit that we based our whole study of flight and um, air travel around. I'm Julia. Thanks for joining me on my channel, Freestyling It. The first book I want to share with you today is actually a book that I've been reading. It's an adult book about air flight. and. I recently put out a video about three reasons why I think it's important for parent educators to be reading for themselves. And when I'm saying reading for themselves, I'm meaning reading for pleasure and reading to deepen one's own knowledge of the world around them. So I have started sort of a practice, a habit of perusing any adult books within the category or the study that I'm going to be pursuing with my children. So in this case, it was the study on flight. And so I found this book. It's called Who Owns the Sky? The Struggle to Control Airspace from the Wright Brothers On. This book is very heavy on the lawyer speak. And um, so it was not like a light read, but a very, very fascinating um, description of social awareness of air flight and how it impacted the laws in the United States and around the world. I only read about this far, if you can see the bookmark. I feel like I gleaned what I needed to from it. Just like even like developing an awareness of the concept of air travel in the lawmaking world was just a whole nother window on the concept of flight and flying that I had never considered before. So I would highly recommend as a parent educator to do a little research on your own, whether it be getting an adult book out or watching a movie, even like on YouTube, searching something out that just kind of deepens your knowledge of a certain topic. It kind of throws you into the educational journey as well on an adult level. All right, now let's get into the kids' books. Before I introduce the next book, I would just like to say that in addition to learning about flight, my children had also come across a reference to flying squirrels, and that had piqued their curiosity. They had asked me about what flying squirrels were, and my response to them was, let's get some books out of the library. And so I did some searching on the library, and I found a couple books about flying squirrels. It's not very a very proliferous subject um, with a ton of books to choose from. Um, so I'll show you these few. I had paired learning about flying squirrels with this topic of flight because it just seemed to go so naturally together. So just wanting to draw attention to the fact that I'm listening to the interests of my children and responding to their interests that they voice and combining it with the topics presented in our current event parent teacher guide. So I love it when these things meld together, which happens a lot. And this is just one instance of it. So here's the first book, Flying Squirrels. This is a very simple, um, uh, straightforward book. I'll give, just give you an example of the words here and the pictures. Um, really, really fascinating. Um, and when I say really, really fascinating, I'm talking about the squirrels themselves. <laughs> They're amazing little creatures and you just gotta marvel. This is the second book, um, info book on flying squirrels, which has um, the topic of world's weirdest animals. So there's a series of the world's weirdest animals. Um, so this is another informational book. Um, you can see 
each page has like a different um, topic. Oh, almost every page has a different topic um, that where they address some new information about flying squirrels. This one, flying squirrel at Acorn Place, um, is told in story form. And I've said before on my channel that I really love um, books that teach facts or books that present facts in story form because I've I know for myself and I can see in my children that the ability to assimilate facts um, happens a lot easier when it's presented in, in a story form um, and that's because it can go deep not just in the head but it can go deep into one's own um, consciousness into a, you know their heart space as well so flying squirrel at acorn place very much um, brought us along with the flying squirrel as he worked to gather his food and to seek out a new home because his previous one had been threatened by a neighborhood cat. Starts The story starts off with a bit of drama here. There's a cat's paw coming in um, a hole and Flying Squirrel is backing into a corner trying to get away from that. Okay, this is just a fun one. This isn't about flying squirrels, but Merle the High Flying Squirrel is just a squirrel who has a fun flying adventure. Um, this, I think, is an older book published in the 1900s, and um, my kids asked for this story to be read numerous times, so we've very much enjoyed this on the topic of flight. Another fun book that I would like to include is Flight School by Lita Judge, um, recently Read Aloud Revival, which um, is a group founded by Sarah McKenzie to encourage families to be reading and developing a read aloud culture in their homes. Um, recently, Read Aloud Revival had this author, Lita Judge, um, as a guest um, for the month. And so when I saw that Flight School was one of her books, I thought this is going to tie in so perfectly and I love having a couple of fun books to throw in on any given subject. So we enjoyed reading this book about this penguin who wanted to fly and it has a great ending. Okay, enough with the fun books and the, you know, the subtopic here. Um, we're now going to dive into the books that I have been perusing with my children about flight. Starting off with The Story of Inventions. This is an Usborne book, and we only looked at one part of it here. Um, it has a section on learning to fly, and it kind of gave us a basic general overview of flight and people's attempts to fly throughout the world. Um, it talked a bit about birds and why we're not like birds, why we can't just fly by attaching wings to ourselves. Then it talked a bit about gliders and planes and about some parachuting that people attempted and successful attempts. This next book um, is about the Wright Brothers' first flying machine. So this was um, a book based on fact. Um, it's called The Wondrous Whirligig. And it was a really delightful story, honestly, with some great illustrations. And um, obviously it's based on real people, but really brings out the characters. It was neat to see how the Wright brothers grew up in a family that really encouraged experimentation and learning on the go. This was a really fun option that um, I had checked out. You wouldn't want to be on the first flying machine. A high soaring ride you'd rather not take. Now, if you're familiar at all with the You Wouldn't Want To series, um, they, they are really neat books as far as lots of information that is um, laid out in an appealing fashion. Um, lots of illustrations that can be a little bit humorous and kind of get the questions rolling. And um, so this was a fun book to look at together, but um, again, I've talked about these kind of books before where they have lots of words on it and like separate words to go with separate pictures. We don't read all the words. I often will skim silently and then I will reword it for my kids' benefit, or I will read um, par certain paragraphs. Often if they point at a picture, I'll read the paragraph associated with the picture or kind of summarize it in my own words. Um, so 
that's how we like to look at these books together and it makes it very enjoyable because we're all just kind of observing and learning and um, pursuing further what we find interesting about the book. First Flight, the story of Tom Tate and the Wright brothers, was the book, the main book that we read together, which was specifically about the Wright brothers. And um, this is, you know, one of those early chapter books. So there's, you know, big words in it and lovely illustrations, but it's not terribly in depth. Um, it follows the story of Tom Tate, um, who is a real person who was present um, on the beach um, the very day that they completed their historic flight. To Fly, the story of the Wright brothers. Um, now we started reading this. Um, you can see that, that the words are a lot on each page and it's actually numbered. Um, so almost like chapters. And it covers their early life and um, the things that they were interested in growing up. Um, and then we haven't read any farther than this, Vacations at the Outer Banks. And I don't know if we're going to. I've had it up on our freezer, um, which is where I keep the books that we're currently reading um, for like pulling out at our breakfast times um, or other meal times when the kids are sitting down for a bit and I can read. But we haven't pulled it out for a few days, and I don't feel like there's any really real need or pressure to. I think we have definitely engaged the subject of flight and the Wright brothers quite extensively as it is. So this was kind of an option, and I do think it is a little bit above my children's levels at this point. They liked it, and my son asked to read this um, a couple times, um, and he's five years old, um, but I don't feel like uh, we're losing out on anything by not finishing it. We gleaned what we did and that's good. <laughs> the big balloon race focuses in on a woman, Carlotta the Great. Carlotta made more ascensions in hydrogen balloons than any other aeronaut of her time. So quite an interesting character who I wouldn't mind learning more about. This book, Take Flight, was kind of an overview of flight in general. Um, it is put out by Ripley reader from Ripley's Believe It or Not um, series. This was a, a fascinating part about barnstormers and how they would um, do stunts on airplanes. So this book was kind of full of other things like that that would kind of make us go like, huh, really? That would happen? Wingsuits just kind of covers all the things that one might be fascinated by in the world of flight. Jet plane, how it works. Okay. This book I would highly recommend for learning about what the concept of flying is. I found it amazing. I'm not really a mechanical person. My brain doesn't really work that way, or I haven't thought that it works that way. Again, when information is presented in such a way that you can grasp it, it's amazing what becomes possible. This author did such a great job talking about engines and what makes an engine work talking about airflow over the, and under the wing and why the design of a curved wing with the flat underneath works really well for lift. Just a lot of like scientific ideas here as well as mechanical. Um, so I found this fascinating and I thought it was a great introduction for my kids um, for how a jet plane works. This book, Super Fast Planes, was selected by my librarian when she saw all the other books that I had ordered. This talks about um, breaking the sound barrier. It started off with um, military airplanes um, and the beginning of powered aircraft here. Um, I think it's kind of unfortunate in one sense that a lot of the drive for fly flight has come from war but it still is very fascinating to see the amazing um, flying machines that have been designed and created this book all kinds of planes was i did well i didn't know what it was going to be like when i first got it but i saw it at the library and i picked it up and it basically just lists a whole bunch of different aircraft and 
it gets really silly. Like my kids were giggling quite a bit um, with different um, the pictures here, like flying bathtub and carrot plane, along with listing actual planes. We went over this book twice in one sitting, and there was giggles all around. All kinds of planes. And the last one, save the biggest for last here, the big book of airplanes. Discover the biggest, fastest, and best flying machines. And this is a great overview of different planes. Let's see, I'll give a little bit of room here. It's a big book. Um, this one actually really fascinated my son. He wanted to learn more about the Velocity, which is an airplane that you can purchase the kit. I'm sure it's quite expensive, um, but you purchase the kit and you build it yourself. So we actually ended up looking up a YouTube video about a tour of the Velocity um, factory, which is located down in Florida, and um, learned a bit about the Velocity from that video. So this ended up being an interest for my son. Stunt planes, flying laboratory, just covers of many different types of planes. Um, again, this is the kind of book where I don't read every word. We look at the picture, we comment on what's interesting to us. I look and see if there's anything written up about whatever has been commented on and kind of add to the conversation by saying, oh, well, this says such or, that, such or so, you know, whatever it is. And... Um, and then we, you know, take it from there. So really um, great overview with great pictures, really hit the spot as far as learning about a variety of different airplanes in one place. Well, that was it. That was the last book. And um, we had a lot of fun. In fact, my son is still interested in airplanes and he's like we're not done yet i plan for each of our unit studies to last about a week this is actually um, school vacation week for the public schools in our area so it worked out really nicely because airplanes was kind of a heavy week we were in the books um, almost every day always learning something new and then this week um the topic in god's world news has been more low-key i haven't ordered as many books we're kind of um taking it as a vacation week even while still doing school which is kind of how i see life in general always learning never fully taking a break but sometimes stepping back you know stepping off the gas a little bit and and um, cruising and that's kind of what this week has been it's been a cruising week. So aside from continuing to learn about airplanes and learning about another topic, we are cruising and we're sharing the discovery. <laughs> That's what this channel is about. It's about encouraging you and your families to be sharing the discovery with one another, to be embracing the learning journey together, and to really be excited to grow in our knowledge and not just our head knowledge, but our heart knowledge as well, which comes through story a lot of the time. All right, well, thanks for joining me. I hope you can check out my other videos. I've got a lot of other unit study videos out as well as um, other short shorter videos on why um, we might do things a certain way. Uh, so check those out if you feel inclined and um, check back soon for more content. Mm -hmm.